In this tutorial, I will be showing you how I processed M104, the Sombrero Galaxy. Using the Hubble Legacy Archive, I searched for M104. I wanted to find a complete mosaic, and while there are a lot of images of M104, not all of them are complete. On the second page, I found the entire set here and used 435, 555, and 625. I assigned 435 to blue, 555 to green, and 625 to red. You can download them by adding them to your cart using the FITS science file, or if you are using Google Chrome, simply by right-clicking and choosing Open Link a New Tab for a direct download. From there, make sure to convert your FITS file to a TIFF file using the FITS Liberator 4, and then open Photoshop. Select File, Scripts, Load Files into Stack, and choose the TIFFs that you just converted. Before I begin, I like to rename my files by double-clicking on the name and changing it to what I would like. By unselecting the eye and starting with the bottom layer, I will adjust my levels before I begin processing this image. These levels are already pretty good, so I don't have to do much adjusting. And then go to Image, Mode, and RGB Color in order to colorize them. Select Don't Merge. Then using the Layer Colorization method, I will double click on each layer. And under Advanced Blending, unselect Green and Blue for Red. Unselect Red and Blue for Green. and unselect red and green for blue. Photoshop has automatically blended these layers together. The image for the Sombrero Galaxy is not exactly a square. The background here cuts down on a diagonal, so I'm going to use the Perspective Crop tool and crop out the edges. It blends in very well at the background and is not very noticeable. And I'm going to create a new layer and select my black threshold point. By right clicking on the eyedropper tool and choosing color sampler tool, I will look for a black threshold point that has similar red, green, and blue values. I'm then going to adjust the levels to make sure that they're all equal before I begin processing. From here, I will then begin my adjustments to this image. I create a new layer every time I do an adjustment or an enhancement. The first adjustment that I like to make is the selective color adjustment under layer, new adjustment layer, and selective color. When I'm done with that, I will then go to filter, camera raw filter, and use that to enhance the details in this image. I can also do noise reduction if the image is very noisy under the noise filter. 
I always check the curves as well to see if the image needs to be stretched. Hubble images usually do not need to be stretched very much, but that can be checked under Image, Adjustments, and Curves. In this image, there is an artifact in the image. This bright star right here has bled and it caused a very thick, saturated line. There's also a bit of a halo over here. These can be removed using the healing brush tool. Change the brush size to one that will work well. And you can either just edit out the line itself or leave it by selecting Alt, clicking a point, and using the tool to brush it out. That is how I processed M104 the Sombrero Galaxy. I hope you enjoy this image. This is one of my favorite images and one of my favorite galaxies. It is such a beautiful, stunning, edge-on view of a galaxy. Have fun and enjoy processing this photo.